put something in the post and once he's gone, I'll show you. Oh, I'm sorry about this intro. <laughs> Hello, hello, welcome back to the vlog, hello, it's a Tuesday, it's day 48, 48 maybe, it's 10 minutes till my vlog comes out for today, I just edited my 18th video, I'm going to start this vlog in a bit, but I have something very special for today, it's a, um, there we go, much better, um, but yeah, today's been a bit of a weird one, I woke up quite late, but uh, it's just been a bit of a weird day if you get me. One cool thing that's happening is that by the end of this month I will have wardrobes and I'm finally not going to be in this uh, box. I'm actually going to have proper wardrobes and I can actually store my stuff in, actually organise everything and not have the, 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 the bean bag. No, the bean bag, I, I really, it's just it's a pile. It's awful. I've got another book in the post, very happy about this one. Got something else that's really cool. As some of you know, I'm a professional. Ultimate Frisbee player. That was a joke, I'm not, but I really enjoy Ultimate Frisbee. And I decided to get a professional Ultimate Frisbee Frisbee. This is a professional Ultimate Frisbee Frisbee. Yeah, I can throw it forehand, kind of. Uh, my balls run out of, hang on, my balls run out of juice. I don't really know why I called it juice. Uh, ba -ba, repeat down to stay. Okay, that works. Fucks on the run. Perfecto, right, that's water my plants. But yes, yeah, something very interesting came in the post and it wasn't the Frisbee. Uh, two days ago, I got this in the post. Good plants. Right, okay. In the post, Chester. Actually, it'll probably be better to take you back about exactly a year ago. Well, not exactly, but almost a year ago. It's my birthday last year. Uh, my friend Craig Baker, uh, he uh, he decided to get me a lens for my birthday. Uh, <laughs> I believe this was, he, this was a double of his. Absolutely smashing birthday present, thanks Craig. And um, it's a really old FD lens from Canon, made in Japan. It's one of the coolest things I own. I really, really love it. Look, listen, listen. And it has a built-in lens hood. I mean, look at that optic. Look at that. Tell me that's not sick. I even, oh, it's cute, okay? It's cute. But I couldn't use it on my camera because my camera is, is an EFM mount. It basically means it's smaller than usual uh, lens diameters. So judging on the size of a camera, you can only put certain lenses on it. Usually, Canons have EF mount. So you may be wondering, how did you put other lenses on there? I have other, I have an adapter. This is not an EF lens. This is a F. D lens, what basically means it's big, it's chunky boy. So I couldn't use it on the camera. What can I do about that? How can I, you know, work with it? How can I do it? I didn't do anything for a year because it wasn't sitting in my camera bag. So it was kind of sitting in my camera crate. It wasn't getting any love. I haven't used it before. I haven't even checked it out. My birthday rolls around this year and I go on Amazon and I find a really good adapter for this lens. So I got this in the post two days ago. This is a FD to EF, hang on, focus. Yeah, there we go. This, this is an FD to EFM mount, meaning that I can mount this lens on my camera. One of my favorite things to do is kind of like looking for the lens. Tell me this isn't really cool. Adjust, manually adjust the exposure. Tell me that isn't sick. Right, time to put this boy on you. Goodbye. Right, so I switched to my phone. Basically, my adapter hasn't got any electrics within it, meaning that I can't shoot on it, as the camera can't sense that there's a lens there. So the camera can't take photos if it doesn't think it's seeing anything. It's just, it's, it's quite confusing. I'm sure there's ways around it. There's definitely ways how you can solve it. But at this moment in time, I haven't got the right adapter or the right software on the camera to take the photos. But I can still show you what it's seeing. You get quite a nice image out of it. It's very crisp. I'm quite a big fan of it. Look at that. That's a nice shot. Look at that. Because that's the thing with lenses. Lenses, you don't have to buy new ones. Lenses last quite a long time, so it might be worth investing into a good lens because you could probably use it years down the line. This lens is insanely old, and it still works perfectly. Obviously, with the right adapter, it'll work perfectly. But buying lenses secondhand is just as good unless they're in an awful, awful condition. But if they're in like an alright condition, they'll still work great. That's the thing with lenses, they don't really age in terms of quality. So you may be wondering, what, should I invest in some FD lenses? That is an absolutely brilliant idea. If you've just got a camera and you want to test out with new lenses, but you haven't got the budget, FD lenses are for you. Come on, Lord. FD lenses are great because if photographers are trying to get rid of a lens set, you can get them for a pretty good price. And the best place to go is probably eBay. Don't just take it from me. I have loads of friends who invest into nice FD lenses because if you have a nice set of FD lenses, you have a nice set of lenses that are well built and they last quite long because they're chunky and they're, you know, 
thick. Because some of them are not just as good, but if not better than normal lenses, if you find the right ones. But obviously one of the most important things is to make sure you have a good adapter. I should probably be investing into a better one. Or I should probably look into the software. That would probably be better. But you get the point. So I hope that gives you an answer to your question. That's the video. That's the video for today. So thank you for watching. Thank you for coming around and visiting the channel. If you want to stay for longer and you want to check out some of my other videos, make sure you check down below. And also subscribe to the channel, like the video as always. And I'll see you tomorrow. That was a very good outro. I'm very proud of myself. Anyway, goodbye and see ya. Bye.